agent communication no-nos. Three, three no-nos that I, I see and hear from my clients and what you can do instead. Hi there, Jody Bentley here, actor, producer, and career coach. Hello, and today I wanna to talk about three agent communication no-nos. Now, I think so many actors um, spend so much time wanting to get the agent, right? And then we get the agent, and then we don't maximize that agent relationship, or really rather the communication in that relationship to allow it to grow. Uh, and grow with trust and respect. So I wanna talk about three three no-nos that I, I see and hear from my clients and what you can do instead. So the first uh, agent communication no-no is never ask, did you submit me? Did you submit me for this? I saw this thing, did you submit me? Don't do that. No one likes to be micromanaged and it puts them on the defensive right away where you're basically saying, I don't think you did your job, so I'm checking up on you. That's really the underlying um, uh, feeling to that phrase. And I get it. There might be a project that you hear. You read about it on IMDb. Maybe someone um, sent you a breakdown that they read about it. And you're in, in for you, you're reading this saying to yourself, oh my gosh, this is a dream role. This character is perfect for me. Oh my gosh, I worked with that associate producer years ago, right? Maybe there's more information you have. So if there is a project that you are drawn to, you are like, this This is the project, and you want to follow up with your agent, you get to. Of course you get to. Just let's rephrase it instead of, did you submit me for this? You can say, oh my gosh, um, I came across this project or I heard about this project through the grapevine. Um, I'm sure you submitted me for it, but I wanted you to know how much this story spoke to me. It's right in alignment with the stories that I want to tell in my career. And I also happen to know the associate producer. Is there anything else we can do? What else can I do to help us out? Do you see the difference with that? right? So not just did you submit me, but give them information, give them ammunition, ammunition, let them feel like a team member on your team. And how are you working it out together? That's going to build more trust. Saying, did you submit me for this? Automatically creates distrust, right? And you're putting all of it on them as opposed to it on you. So when you do want to reach out and ask about a, a particular role, make sure there's something there that you can um, really dig into, right? Oh, I've met, I've auditioned for that casting before. They've always liked me in the room. Or I know the associate producer. Oh my God, I know the musical director. Whatever it is, I would save it for things like that because you don't want to be reaching out for every role you hear about. You get to have trust that you signed with this person, you're working with this person, you want to have trust in your team that they're holding up their end of the bargain. Second agent communication no-no, never send an email saying, just checking in, how are things going? Just checking in, <laughs> right? Yes, you wanna stay in communication with your team and your agent, okay? But there's, there's a better way to do it, so what can you do? Yes, I invite you to email them, to stay in contact with them. They're a team member, you get to reach out. So I invite you to reach out to them with additional sales tools, with additional information. Um, you wanna keep them in the loop on everything going on. So you can send an email saying, um, oh, on Tuesday I'm gonna be doing a casting director workshop with so-and-so, um, wanted you to know um, I'll let you know how it goes. Great, that's great information. Or hey, just um, I submitted myself on Actors Access for a project um, and I got an audition in two days. I'll keep you in the loop. It's a new media project, so we'll discuss it if something goes further down the line. right? Because maybe they want to negotiate it, maybe they don't. Maybe they don't want to deal with new media. But you want to give them information. Um, hey, I've been thinking about my, my headshot tools and thinking about getting some, some new pictures. I feel like I'm missing this type of role. What do you think? Whatever it is, you want to give them information of how they can sell you, what's going on in your career, um, but not just an email of just checking in because you feel like you have to. I think that's what happens a lot is we're like, oh, I got this agent. Uh, I, I, I need them to remember me. <laughs> I need them to know that I exist still. So just checking in. Trust that they know you, they're, you're on their roster, you're a colleague, you're a teammate, and now you as the teammate gets to get to give them sales tools, gets to give them information that's going to help them do their job. 
And the third agent communication no-no that I see is um, the clients want to ask, maybe they refrain from it, or, or maybe they, they ask, is why am I not getting any auditions? Or why is it really slow right now? Right? We, we want to know those things. I get it. But let's reframe it. Because saying, why am I not getting any auditions? Or, or why is it super slow? Again, is automatically putting them on the defensive. Imagine if someone said that to you, right? So you got to think about how you want to be communicated with. So you could say, hey, I notice um, things have slowed down a bit. Um, curious if you're seeing any trends in the industry to support this or wondering if it's time to have a conversation about my headshots. Which ones do you really think are working? Maybe we can set up a call. Right? Maybe I need to have other, maybe I'm missing a couple uh, looks that we could use to plug in. Um, so I really invite you to take the power with this as opposed to why am I not getting auditions? Why is it so slow? Why am I not getting in the room? Why am I not getting seen? Approach them with, hey, I notice it's slow right now for us. Um, curious what you think. Curious if, hey, do you think I need an extra clip on my reel? Or do you think my headshots are competitive enough? I feel like they are. Maybe we should pull a couple others from the shoot and test them out, right? You get to be part of this team offering solutions as well. Or you could say, hey, um, I think it's time to get a submission report so I can see which offices you've submitted me to a lot and who aren't calling me in. So then maybe I can do a casting director workshop or I can do um, um, I can do some more marketing to them on social, right? So that way you have information. I've done a whole other video on submission reports and how to use those. So you can look for that. But you get to take control and not just put it on them with, why am I not getting in the room, right? Be, be that um, the proactive business partner with your agent. So these are the top three communication no-nos that I see and the ways to shift them and change them. Um, so again, you're a colleague. Treat them as a colleague. Treat them with respect, just like you would want to be treated with respect. And always find solutions together. Create dialogue together. That's your job is to create, create the team, create the dialogue, create the camaraderie, create the trust. All right, I trust that this helped. And uh, I will see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.